<laughs> Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Uh -oh. Ricky Bobby is a driver. And in the new film, Talladega Nights, Ricky Bobby is also Will Ferrell, playing a somewhat dim-witted but race-winning NASCAR driver. Absolutely, ma'am. I'd love to sign your baby. You're not going to want to wash that forehead. Ricky Bobby has it all, adoring fans, fame, and a gorgeous trophy wife and family. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, I want to thank you for my family, my two beautiful sons, Walker and Texas Ranger, and, of course, my red-hot smoking wife, Carly. Woo! Mm. Ow! But Ricky Bobby's glamorous life comes crashing down when a French race car driver threatens his winning career. I am coming for you, Ricky Bobby. You sound like a dog with peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. Now, NASCAR fans are very serious about their right. sport. What made this sport so ripe for parody? We recognize the fact that it's, you know, so insanely popular, and uh, it didn't seem like anyone was really taking advantage of creating a comedy you know, about NASCAR, uh, and, you know, we just were in the right place at the right time. Are you going to let your sons talk to their grandfather like that? I'm their elder. I sure as hell am, Chip. I love the way they're talking to you, because they're winners. Winners get to do what they want. Only thing you ever done with your life is make a hot daughter. That's it. Ricky Bobby comes across initially kind of cocky, right. but you give him sort of a heart and soul and make him very endearing to the audience. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I always think that it's fun to to play kind of cocky characters who, you know, underneath it, there's there's a little lining of self-doubt. Give me a fastball, twist the line. What the hell's a fastball? Oh, no! Oh, oh. Give me another! Farrell says despite Talladega Knight's funny side, there's a real sense of authenticity to the film as well. Many scenes were filmed during actual NASCAR races. One of the great things about being in partnership with NASCAR is they gave us so much access, and it's pretty daunting to be in front of, you know, 200,000 people and running around trying to film your scenes. Uh, but it, but it, it kind of gave us this added momentum to what we were doing. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. Now, did you have to deal with any NASCAR groupies when you were filming this? Uh, well, I had to deal with my groupies. Please be 18. You know, it was, it's funny because we were, it's one of the few places where actors don't even get recognized. They're just looking for the drivers. So we would walk right by them, they could care less about us. <laughs> and they were just, you know, waiting for their favorite driver. Oh, it's a deep burn. Oh, it's so deep. Just like in his previous films like Anchorman and Old School, Farrell has no problem bearing some skin for his fans in Talladega Nights. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jewish guy! Help me, Tom Cruise! Tom Cruise, use your witchcraft to get the fire off me! Will Farrell has hit box office gold with a slew of uniquely funny characters like pompous news anchor Ron Burgundy in Anchorman. I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. That's what kind of man I am. Or playing a childlike adult in the film Elf. I'm singing, I'm in a store, and I'm singing. I'm in a store, and I'm singing. Hey! There's no singing in the North Pole. Yes, there is. When you're trying to create a character that really connects with an audience, a new character, what are you trying to look for? Like I said, I mean, I think it's always fun to, to play someone that despite, you know, their overconfidence, they're still uh, vulnerable. I think the audience likes to see that, likes to see uh, self-deprecation in the humor, and, uh, and, and those are the things I tend to kind of gravitate towards. And unlike his character, Ricky Bobby, Will Ferrell tends to avoid the media spotlight. You're never seen in the tabloids. The paparazzi seem to leave you alone. Why is that? <laughs> I know how to avoid them, yes. And I also, well, they, they're afraid of me. Ah, and what do you do? I just carry uh, my trusty pair of nunchucks with me and... Uh, just give them a good crack on the head. No, I never go near them, but I just display my prowess with the nunchucks and they know to leave me alone. We would have named him Dr. Quinn and Medicine Woman, okay? 